Hey everyone, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to cover a little bit about the contour tool um, so we can make some outlines around our text. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go over here and choose my text tool and I'm going to type in Synergy 17. I'm going to change the font to something. Um, let's go with a bubble gun. I'm going to make it about eight and a half inches wide and the reason I'm doing that is because I want my ov overall graphic to be about nine to nine and a half inches so by the time we do a contour it'll get a little bit bigger so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you there's a view up here and there's wireframe and enhance mode and I actually have shortcuts I made a W and Q just so I can go back and forth really easy and see what's going on so I'm going to be swatch, uh, swipping, or sorry, switching between uh, wireframe and the fill mode so Let's go ahead and um, switch to wireframe mode. You can either go this way and go to wireframe or use your shortcut. So, and then over here, I'm going to go to this, uh, the toolbar and we're going to go to the, the contour tool and choose that. And up here, I have a couple different options. We have to the center, to the inside, and to the outside, the number of steps and the space in between. Those are the ones I really care about. And so if I go to one step, you'll notice that it just did one uh, contour around it. If I go to two steps, you'll see two lines, three steps, and so forth. So actually I want two steps. And then this is the space I want between it. If I go down, you'll notice that it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's the distance between every set of lines there. Um, at this point zero 0.09, I have little pieces and little chunks in there that I don't want. So I could either break it apart and delete those or I can just make this a little thicker and as I make it thicker some of those pieces will disappear so I'm gonna go with um, 0.15 here and that's good enough for me so if I go back to my enhanced view I can see that um, I have green here in this other part but that's really not what I want I don't want this on top of this on top of this I actually want this these two pieces to be an outline and so to achieve that, what we have to do is we have to right click and say break contour group apart. Then what we have to do is right click and say, um, so let me just show you what happened. When I move it, you can see that there's the, this piece here. And what we, I'm going to move it back, control Z and move it back. So I want to take this, I want to say ungroup all. So now this is a piece and this center part is a piece. Undo that. So now I select the inner part and the outer part and then up here it says combine so watch what happens I'm gonna go back to the other view when I select this piece and this piece and I say combine it creates that outline that I was looking for and here's these other pieces in here this part and this little piece here and that's up to you if you want to keep those or delete those if you want to delete those you have to go back in here right click and say break the curve apart Go back to wireframe, go in here, delete that, delete all these pieces if you don't want them. If you want to keep this one, you can keep it, and there's kind of a big piece that kind of separates it, or you can just click it and delete it. So now we got to go back, select the inner piece, the outer piece, combine it again, and then you'll have this look right here. Whoops, let's get this one. So grab the inner piece and combine those and then I'll have my outline again. So it's personal preference if you want that piece in there or not. So um, that's how you kind of do it in Corel Draw. And now if you send this to your cutter, it'll cut out the letters here. You can actually take this piece and send this to your cutter and then send this one to your cutter and, you know, with different colors. You can have that blue or whatever you want. And that could be orange, um, however you like it. So anyways, that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same technique, but in, in uh, Oobling. In Oobling, it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit easier, but let's do the same thing. Synergy 17. Oh, by the way, um, if you look at this now, your overall size is 9 inches, and that's because of the contour. So that's why I did the lettering at 8.5 inches, because the contour made it a little bit bigger. So same thing. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go 8.5. 8.5 inches. Now this one has a couple of different options. This one has a contour and an outline. And even though I call this a the contour tutorial, I'm actually going to use the outline feature. 
The reason I'm using outline is because outline gives me the same type of options, how far apart and how many lines I want. So if I actually go right here, I'm going to leave the fill on so you can see what happens. Um, if I click this, you're going to see it getting thicker and thicker. You really can't see what's going on. So if I change the color here to like, uh, I don't know, pink, you can see that as I make this thicker, that's how thick the outline is going to be. Now if I go to wireframe, which is Alt S, you can see that as, let me undo this, if I go back in there to um, outline, you can see that as I do this, let me go back to pink, it's getting bigger. But if I do my steps here, it automatically knows that I want to do that double line like that. So it's kind of already taken that work out of what Corel does. Corel, like I said, you got to break it apart and do all this stuff. Um, with this one, it, it just, I don't know why, but it already knows that I wanted, when I did two steps, it says, oh, you want to do an outline around it. Um, I'm going to undo this so you can watch it again. All I did was transform outline and um, I chose a different color. didn't matter which color I, I choose. And this is my thickness. And as I get it thicker and thicker, you can see that it'll start to touch each other. And as I do that, all these white little white pieces I can hear and hear get, go away. So if I get it really thick like that, and then I do two steps. Now if I do three steps, it does both a background and an outline. If I go four steps, you know, you can see the double outline. So what I want to do is I want to do two steps like that. And like I said, you can bring this in if you want it. This is how many, uh, how, the distance between the letter. Anyways, when you're all done, you just close this. And you have this piece here. And you have this one, you don't have to break anything apart or ungroup it. Just send this piece to the cutter and send this piece to the cutter and you're done. And your overall size on this one um, is 9.1 inches. So that's the way you use the outline uh, tool. If you want to use the contour tool in this one, the contour tool um, is a little bit different. You have um, an outside and an outside and an inside. This one, there's no steps. All it really is is... Um, how much uh, you want to basically put the contour. So it doesn't really do like three steps or two steps. That's really the outline. So this one you could just do a contour, um, you know, like this. And it's got different types of styles of the corner. Sometimes if, you're, if your font is sharp, it'll create a jagged and you can make it nice and round. And what this group objects means is if I, if I leave it checked, it's going to keep these two as one piece. If I uncheck it, and I click off of it, it just basically means to ungroup it, don't keep them together. So the contour in this one's a little bit different. It only has one contour line. And so that's why I use the outline uh, feature. So anyways, if you have any questions, give me a call or shoot me an email or you can uh, instant message me on Facebook. Okay, thanks.